Hello, Melissa UMC. It's Pastor Stacy, and I'm out here at the site of our new church, which we'll soon call home. Like, by soon, I mean in a matter of weeks. So I want to take just a minute in this video and walk you through what's going to happen in the life of our church over the next six weeks, because I don't want you to miss anything. The biggest thing is that we will be moving to our new church site and back into some in-person worship options. So I want to make sure this is very clear for everybody. On this Sunday, March 21st, we're going to be doing our regular 1030 virtual worship by Facebook Live and on our website. And then starting at noon, from noon to one o'clock, we'll be meeting here at the property for a come and go style event where you'll be invited to come write some blessings or scriptures on the floor of the new worship space before they lay the carpet tiles in the next week. Then they're moving into final touches on this space behind me, and we're going to be in the home stretch of coming to this new place. On March 28th, we will meet at McKillop Elementary for worship. Masks will be required. We will be outside, but especially when we're gathered in those group settings, we want to make sure we keep everybody safe by wearing masks. We'll meet for worship there at McKillop at 1030. You're going to want to bring a chair. You're going to want to bring your Easter baskets if you have a kiddo that wants to go egg hunting. We'll have a quick time of worship there at McKillop and then we'll make the one mile journey together from McKillop over to our new church site. We're going to have a big tent set up here at the new church site. We're going to worship here together as well. And then we're going to spend some time uh, doing an Easter egg hunt, just being together in community. There will be an in and out burger truck and you do need reservations for your lunch on that day. Shonda's Shave Ice will also be here. That you do not need reservations for. You'll just want to bring a little extra money so you can enjoy a snow cone after we finish worship. That is on March 28th. That's Palm Sunday. On Easter Sunday morning, we will again be here outdoors in person at the property. We'll have a 6.30 sunrise service, an 8 o'clock in-person worship service, a 9.30 virtual only worship option, and an 11 o'clock in-person service here at the church site outside in a tent. Again, you want to make sure that you bring your mask and you bring a chair as we will be sitting outside. So if you've got some really fancy Easter shoes and it rains that week, you're going to want to make sure you think about that. Or you can set up your chair on the concrete so that you make sure that you stay nice and clean for Easter Sunday. That's on April 4th. April 11th and 18th, we'll be having the same kind of pattern. So I'm going to tell you about both Sundays at one time. So this information is good for April 11th and April 18th. On those Sundays, we'll be gathering for worship outside in the tent here at the new building site. So again, bring your chair. We will likely have a certificate of occupancy for our new building sometime during that time, but it does take a few weeks just to get everything ready to go as far as audiovisual and greeters and setup and all of those kind of things. So for those two weeks, we're going to be outside in person as well. Mass required, bring your chair, you know the drill, 1030 a.m., and I want to say this, I'll just pause right here and say this. I was going to say it at the end, but it just crossed my mind and I don't want to forget. As we move back into in-person worship and as we move into this new space behind me, we are always going to offer quality virtual options, both on Facebook Live and live stream. That's really important to us because I know some of you are in varying stages of comfort, maybe varying stages of vaccination, and you're not quite comfortable being in person, whether that's indoors or outdoors at the moment. So I want you to know that we see that, we honor that. From here forward, we're going to keep those virtual options because I also know some of you are about to start having baseball games and soccer games, and you are not going to be available on Sunday morning, but you might want to be sure that you connect with your church family. You can do that on Facebook Live. You can do that by live stream. Lastly, on April 25th, I think, and I don't want to say 100% positive, but it looks pretty likely that April 25th is going to be our first worship service here inside our new building. I'm going to be bringing you more information about that later because we're just not quite ready to sort of say, hey, here's how that's going to work. We need a little bit of time to make sure that everything kind of goes according to plan over the next three or four weeks. And then we'll be ready to share that with you in the earliest weeks of April, in the first few weeks of April. But I just wanted to take a minute just so you could have that date on your calendar and know it looks like April 25th will be our first service in the new building. I think that's it for now. I know this is a longer video than what we usually craft for an announcement, but there's a lot of information in the next six weeks, and I don't want you to miss a thing. 
So if you're getting this by email, look at the bottom of your email and I'll put some links to important information there, including graphics that give you all those times again and that reservation for your burger for March 28th. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.